Recently, I've noticed lots of videos, articles claiming that there was a time in Earth's history where it rained for between one and two million years. But how true is this and what really happened? So officially, these articles are referring to the Carnian Pluvial Event, or the CPE. And it does signify a tectonic shift in Earth's climate primarily caused by the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. As the continent broke up, this affected weather patterns, and in particular, a sharp increase in volcanic activity, which pumped lots of CO2 into the atmosphere. And prior to this event, Earth was already in a hothouse condition, with atmospheric CO2 being around 2,000 parts per million. And during the CPE, this ultimately increased to 3,000 parts per million. This matters because air's ability to hold moisture increases with temperature. So to put this into context, today, with CO2 being 420 parts per million, the average temperature during the CPE was about 5 to 10 degrees Celsius warmer than today. So that means the atmosphere held between 50 and 100% more water vapor during the CPE versus today. You should also remember that in a hothouse Earth environment, there is less temperature difference between the poles and the equator. So more of the overall planet had these conditions. To give you some rainfall numbers, today the tropical regions can get upwards of 4,000 millimeters of annual rain, which is about 160 inches. But during the CPE, comparable areas could have received as much as 6,000 millimeters of rain, or 240 inches per year. And the CPE did last for about 1 to 2 million years before the climate ultimately stabilized and carbon sinks removed excess CO2 from the atmosphere. Now that's a lot of rain, the climate was very hot, humid, and moist, but calling this a uh, continuous rain for a million years it's not fully accurate. It also turns out that there have been other, even warmer periods of time in Earth's history. Going back to the Cambrian explosion roughly 500 million years ago, when multicellular life was really just starting to explode, hence the name, the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere was pushing upwards of 5,000 parts per million. We do have to remember that on time scales this large, solar luminosity does decrease as you go further back in time. But even so, the estimated average temperature was between 22 and 30 degrees Celsius. It's almost impossible to find proper evidence of rainfall amounts, but simply based on the vapor carrying capacity of air at various temperatures, we can deduce that the Cambrian probably had a wetter environment with more rain than even the CPE. 